trigonometric functions. I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand and appreciate what co-functions are. Question is express each of the following as a co-function cos of 7 pi by 10 and cosecant 27 pi by 22. So I have purposely taken two examples one with the primary trigonometric ratio and the other one with secondary trigonometric ratio. The strategy to find co-function is to write the given function as uh, with angle with combination of pi by 2. That is the strategy. So when we write cos of 7 pi by 10, we could write this as equals to cos of, let us say, pi by 2 plus some angle alpha. So what we are trying to say is we want to write 7 pi by 10 as pi by 2 plus alpha. In that case, since our point will be in quadrant 2, cos is going to be negative so this value will be equals to minus sine alpha so that is the strategy so we need to break this angle 7 pi by 10 and find the angle alpha so let's do it so we have 7 pi by 10 equals to pi by 2 plus alpha so from here we can say 7 pi by 10 minus pi by 2 is equals to angle alpha let me write alpha here this time so so we get 10 as the base denominator common denominator 7 pi minus 5 pi so that gives us 2 pi by 10 so we get alpha as equal to 2 pi by 10 or pi by 5 so we get alpha as equals to pi by 5 is that okay so therefore we can write 7 pi by 10 as minus sine pi by 5. So that is the way to get the answer. You could have got it uh, using coordinate system also. Let me show you that. It's kind of interesting and helpful at times. So let us say we are considering 7 pi by 10. It really means that you divide your pi in 10 equal parts and select the seventh one. So let us divide this. Let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so this becomes 5, right? Then you have 6, 7, so this is what we're trying to reach, 7, 8, 9, and that's the 10th one, right? So as you can see here, 7 pi by 10 is the 7th, 10th of the pi. Now, pi by 2 plus, you know, see that. So pi by 2 basically could be written as 5 pi by 10, correct? So you're left with 2 pi by 10, 2 pi by 10. So that's how you could have got direct answer. Se cos 7 pi by 10 equals to minus sine 2 pi by 10, and then 2 pi by 10 simplifies to pi by 5. I hope you understand and appreciate this concept. It's kind of very helpful to understand. Now, let's look into the next example, which is cosecant 27 pi by 22. Now it really means that we are dividing pi into 22 equal parts. So let me do the coordinate system or the graphical solution first. So 22 parts of the pi, so that means this is 22 pi over 22 pi, is that okay? So when we are saying 27, so 22 plus 22 will be 24, each has 11. So 27 means 5 more, right? So, so what we have here is 11. So this is 33 pi, is that okay? 33 pi by 22. So, so we are here, which is 27 pi, is that okay? Pi by 22. So how much is left? What is left over? This is what we need to find, right? So this is 5 and these are 6, right? So 6 pi, 6 pi by 22 is something which is left, correct? So whenever we do co-function pi by 2 changes the reciprocal, I mean the trigonometric ratio into its co-function, the co-function for cosecant is secant, right? Now both secant and cosecant are negative here, is that okay? So both are negative. So anyway, now what we really get here is secant 6 pi by 12, correct? 
Now secant 6 pi by 12. Now since cosecant is negative here and 6 pi by 12, 22 I mean, which will be secant, uh, we can divide by 2. So 3 pi by 11, right? So 6 pi by 12 or 3 pi by 11 will happen in the quadrant 1. It will be a positive value. So we have to take the negative value of this. Do you understand? So that is how we can actually get our answer very easily from the understanding of uh, the system itself. Correct? The other way, of course, is to do it algebraically, which is we can write 27 pi by 22 as equal to uh, 3 pi by 2 minus alpha, right? So we'll do 3 pi by 2 minus some angle alpha. We need to find what that angle is. So, so alpha is equals to 3 pi by 2 minus 27 pi by 22. So that gives us 33 pi minus 27 pi over 22. Exactly what we calculated. Do you see that? right so 33 minus 27 is indeed 6 so we get 6 pi by 22 which is same as 3 pi by 22 right so we get cosecant 27 pi by 22 could be written as cosecant 3 pi by 2 minus alpha which will be equals to minus secant alpha right so let me let me write here we have cosecant 27 pi by 22 is equals to I mean cosecant 3 pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 22 I mean 11 6 pi by 22 3 pi by 11 so which is minus secant 3 pi by 11 so we could do algebraic method as I have shown you so either way, you get the same answer. So co-function identities are the identities when we are trying to write sine in terms of cosine, cosecant in terms of secant, tangent in terms of cotangent, using rotational transformations by pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.